What's up everyone and welcome back here to some more Space Engine and uh, back into the universe and just right off the bat I want to bring you guys some more cool anomalies and stuff and so I found this planet which I thought would be pretty cool to start off um, so first of all it's got a massive storm in it permanently because I guess the planet rotates in a way that it's constantly circulating, circulating around this axis so it just created a wind stream or something? I, I actually don't know. And there's a bunch of rings around it, which is really cool as well. Um, but it's a temperate terra, so it is a Earth-like sort of place. And you see that you also have some sort of... Oh, I forgot what it's called now. But some cool lights on display. And this... Oh, that part of the planet right there seems to be frozen over. So let's take a look here. We can go deeper, oh, more onto the ground. And um, I improved the sort of textures on the ground as well. And the way that it builds the game. Obviously I'm recording right now, so my hard drive is working uh, a little hard. So bear with me if it doesn't look the best. But it, I've got more 3D sort of textures in it now. Uh, where it sort of pops in as you go. And this is pretty cool, because it seems like this is sort of almost like a coastline to where part of the planet is just completely solid. And the other part is... Oh, it's fully, uh... It's not fully water, actually. Whoa. Maybe a little bit close here. Yeah, it's not fully water, because I see land here. And this is on the sunny sunny part of the uh, planet, but this is just beautiful. Right here. These sort of rock formations, and then if you wait a little, they will uh, pop in and textures will get, get better. But obviously, you know, while recording, it takes a lot of the, out of the hard drive already. But you can sort of see some textures coming in, and some really nice textures here where it seems like an asteroid hit or something and it did sort of damage and I'm gonna take a screenshot of this because it's completely awesome but yeah so this is a really really cool planet actually and uh, it appears the storm is more this way yes this is big this is where the storm begins is it uh, ooh, mountains or at least I thought they were mountains and yeah it has an orange filter because the sun is a red dwarf. So it's not just the sun, and if we click on the planet, we can see, oh, that's, a, that's not what I meant to click on. We can see that the planet itself is stuck at four and a half degrees, which is actually, it's not bad. Could be a lot worse, it's in Celsius. So this is the, uh, that was a storm that we just went through, isn't it? Oh no, the storm is even more over there. And uh, now there are, vo are volcanoes and stuff as well, which have come in as I put in new textures, which is really cool. And this one sort of is that tall that it comes up like above all the rest of the planet, which I thought was just pretty cool. So let's head into the uh, storm here. Not that there is that will change much of anything. See some water here. Whoa. Going below the water there. And if we let it load a little bit, obviously the textures uh, improve. But I highly recommend that you guys check this out for yourselves as well. Because it's one thing to see it, just me playing it. But it's an entirely different thing to go and, and sort of check out all these planets on your own. As you can see that the uh, formations are sort of starting to pop in, and this liquid is very strange. I'm not quite sure if it's water. It doesn't look like water. Well, its atmosphere composition is carbon dioxide, water, <laughs> sulfuric version of water, CH4, and it's uh, 0.3 times the pressure of our Earth, I think. Yeah. Oh, look at these mountains, that's sick. 
that's out. That's really cool. And it's got three moons as well, and rings. So that's quite unique, actually. It's very rare that planets have like, all three of those. And a beautiful landscape. I'm gonna take a screenshot. So yeah, this was a pretty cool planet to explore. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, if we want, we can go all the way to the center of the storm, which is above here. Oh, whoa. That is really scary. And you can see it's completely dark. It's completely dark above the storm. I think. Or is that just because... No. Oh, wow. It's a deep ocean. Really? That's really cool. This is just a giant ocean underneath the storm. I guess land just was not able to make it. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, oh, well, there is some land near the eye of the storm. That's really cool. Anyways, that's just one planet. Obviously, there are many more um, in this sort of system. So the next thing I want to do, I'm going to pick up my star browser here. And I'm going to search for a planet which has, which has the most moons out of any ones around us in... I'm going to do... A 1,000 light year radius and I will see you guys in a second when I have found that okay so I found here a system which has seven stars suns but it's not really a Sun is it they're not suns they're stars so let's check it out here a little bit scary whoa okay what again I need to start slowing controlling myself better on these approaches well, this is blinding so whoa how many suns are here? One, two. There's one right there. It's got an orange dwarf. Hmm, I guess there are six here then? Are there really six? There's, so there's a... Oh, that's not, there's a... Whoa, white main sequence star. And then, what is this? Oh, that's the same star. Oh. But yeah, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of stars. Let me just slow down here, so we don't have to look at the blinding light. So this is one of the stars. Now, where are the others? That's the red dwarf, so that's two. Then, are there really... What, five here? Let's approach. Ah, the light. It hurts. Well, one, two. What, am I missing some? I'm alright. I don't think I am. I need to start using the control G function to get to the center of things more because otherwise I'm not going to be able to see, see anything. Yellow giant. That's pretty cool as well. See, I only see like four, I think. Unless that's a star right there. Well, that's just a sort of plenty thing. Hmm. So there's like three or four there, and then one there. So it's sort of five. It's not. That's all right. This is really cool. Uh, let's check the other one out. It's five. Thirteen planets. Uh. Okay, so there's... Jesus. Two here. What is there also two here? There are also two here. And then, what? No, what? Where is the other one? Is this one? And there is also a red dwarf there. Wow, that's awesome. Five stars. 
And let's try to speed up time here a little bit so we can see what happens. Whoa! What about the red dwarf? It's orbiting them as well. Look, these four are... So you have two... Two are orbiting each other. Both of them are, are binary... Not binary stars. Uh, they're orbiting each other, and then those two are orbiting the other two. With the fifth one in the in the orbit as well. That's really cool. Anyways, I'm going to try and find you guys uh, another planet. This time, one with life. Okay, so I've been looking for a while now, and I finally found a couple of systems which could possibly have some life on them. So let's take a look at it, and it's multicellular life as well. Which is pretty, pretty cool. If anyone knows what that's from, props to you. Frozen Titan with life, exotic multicellular. Whoa! What is happening? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We need to pause, pause, pause. Don't know why you put the time scale that big, <laughs> but we are there. <laughs> Alright, we made it. It's got beautiful rings, which is awesome. I always love planets with rings. But it's a titan, so it's sort of not really temperate, but it sort of is. It's like a terra, but it's not. But it's kind of is. Same time. Don't ask me questions, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you can see the sea life in this game yet, but if you could, I will definitely not be the one to find it. But there's a really cool island that I want to go to there. Right in the middle. Oh, it's a volcano! Oh, that's awesome! Let me just... Yeah, there we go. Now you can actually also have a, a ship in this, believe it or not. You can build... Space engine. You can even build like an alien ship. Build. take control of it. I can't see it though. Ah! No! Destroy it! Yes! God, that was scary. Okay, so it is sort of unfortunate that it's not land life, because if it were land life, it'd be a little bit easier to find. If, in fact, the game allows for that. Sort of, well, we can just scan here a little bit and see if anything comes up. Oh, no, we're on the dark side of the planet. No, we're not. But this is a beautiful planet, regardless. Wow! A beautiful planet, regardless, as I was saying. And, uh, pretty cool. It doesn't have a lot of mountains or uh, land features, does it? has one big, big river. Maybe the animals are there. I may just be sort of rambling on about stuff that doesn't exist in the game. That would be pretty funny. Anyways, we're going pretty quickly trying to find these. There's two stars in this planet, too, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I don't don't think that's gonna... I don't think we're gonna find any. But I do want to just check out that view. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am going way too fast here. Ooh, crater. I get distracted very easily in this game now. Ever since I found out the uh, sort of mountains and landscapes that you can have. Just look Because I just, I just want to take a bunch of screenshots, you know? Stuff that could be out there in space. You, know, you never know. I want to take a screenshot of this. But I've got to wait for it to load first. So. That always takes a little time, and then. And then you sort of get bored. Don't get bored, but easily distracted. Like this. That's a beautiful screenshot. Boom, right there. Which I should have included the suns a little more. Bear, boom, right there. Look at this planet. Orange! It's so weird, and it's got the rings as well. Oh, that's just amazing. That's really, really cool. This is a be oh my god. Oh, that's that has got to be my screenshot for the video. 
it's that or the sort of typhoon planet that we found. Because that one was really cool as well. Um, and for the last thing in this episode, I guess, it's an episode, we are going to be taking a look at a neutron star. So, I'll be right back with that, and I'll see you guys in a second. So here we are at a neutron star. So it sort of looks like a black hole, except, watch this, when I play it in real time, check this out. It's insane! This is real time, too. We are in the year 4500, by the way, so, whoa. But uh, let's go deeper inside when it's paused. And you'll see it looks similar to the black hole, but there is an entirely different effect. Well, I say entirely different, but it's pretty similar, except it's not black. Look at this. What? I'm inside. I'm inside a neutron star. It's crazy. And everything's got a blue, bluish tint. And it's very weird. And it's very creepy at the same time. Just look at that. And again, you know, it sort of shoves you out your cursor, which I think the game developers did a, a very good job on. And uh, that is a neutron star, people. If you ever wonder what a neutron star looked like, there you go, now you know. Now you know. Although, obviously, we don't actually know what it looks like, so don't take this for granted. Anyways, I think that's gonna be it for, whoa, that's so bright for today, guys. Um, wow, that's really cool. Look at that thing. I hope you enjoyed the video, and, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys, um, in the, uh, in, 